I'm here in Houston, Texas. I'm about 10 minutes from downtown in the historic area. I'm here to check out a joint where two buddies or college roommates opened up a traditional Filipino food truck in Austin. Then they opened a brick and mortar in Austin. And then they came down here to Houston to open. Boom, then the pandemic hits. They close Austin, but Houston's still going strong. This is Be More Pacific. Short rib Filipino barbecue in the window. It reminds me of my mom and aunt's cooking. Can't get that chicks your own working, please. A home cooked feel, but it also kind of exotic at the same time. Like an Asian soul food. How would you describe Filipino food? It's a melding of like Indian, it's got some Japanese, it's got Chinese, Malaysian. Kare kare for the bar! I love the kare kare because I love the peanut sauce. And then you can mix it in with the rice. It tastes fantastic. <laughs> what blew my mind was when they used the brisket. I would have never thought of that combination. So is this because we're in Texas that we're doing brisket in Filipino food? That's right. The kare kare is usually uh, traditionally done with oxtail. OK. And I was like, man, I was like, I think we can sub that out. Smart guy. The fat here, we're trying to trim it. We're going to put it over here. So this is actually going to serve as a part of the sauce later. Salt and pepper, add some water. And we're doing this about as old Texas style as it comes. Put some foil on top. What temp, how long? 300 degrees for uh, about four hours. Then we cube it up. Yes, sir. The next step would be uh, to make the sauce. Oil some onions and some garlic, water, peanut butter, sugar, salt. All right. While that's uh, cooking up, we're actually going to fire up this other guy over here. Brisket drippings and natto seeds. Big, vibrant red color. Steeps in the oil for how long? Probably about five minutes. It blooms. Strain into the uh, other part of the sauce. Love it. Now we're going to finish it off, breaking it apart, and it's uh, making the sauce a little bit thicker. All of it is a soup. We're going to reduce for about 30 to 45 minutes. The uh, condiment for the kare kare is called uh, bagaong alamang. Oil, red onions, and some garlic and tomatoes. Little tiny salted shrimp, brown sugar. Cooks down. It's just a funky Different flavor salt. bomb. <laughs> now we're going to plate our kare kare sauce that we just finished making there. Okay. Long green beans, eggplants, baby bok choy, big chunks of brisket. I have never seen this. <laughs> Crushed peanuts there on top. Bagaong alama. That's what I was going to say. What you want to do is just grab a piece of brisket, some vegetables, some sauce, dab a little of that bagaong alama. Maybe grab a little rice as well. Am I creating the power bite now? Yeah, yeah. Go at it. The brisket is dynamite. It's delicious. This peanut sauce carries it. How are you liking the alamang? It's the key to it. It's got the umami it's that you need in this because you got sweet, you got salty. It's the difference between this being good. I'm great. Well done, buddy. Yeah, thanks. Cut a cut of your brisket. Ooh, thanks. The brisket makes the kare kare a little more flavorful. I love the crunchy nuts. The ingredients are super fresh. 